we sometimes don't know the path that we're on and why we're going through the things that we go through, but it's literally because at the end, it's all the amazingness that you truly envisioned and imagined for yourself. I didn't want to just join an organization because I like the colors. I didn't want to join an organization because I just liked the people. Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated for me on our campus, they were the coolest girls. They were, they were like me. They spoke to everybody. They were friends with everybody and everybody wanted to be around them. And that's who I am. And you had almost like big sisters who were not only just supporting me on my journey in entrepreneurship, but just on my journey of life. My name is Kalila Wright. I am the owner and founder of apparel brand Mess in a Bottle. I am Alexis Marie Allen, a national gospel recording artist. And even in that, and all that I do, I am Zeta. Starting your own business can definitely be a difficult task. It is not a walk in the park at all. But knowing that people are cheering for you, rooting for you, and praying for you, I could call any one of my sorors in the middle of the night and they are there. The fact that they can truly recognize me and wanted to give me the Woman of the Year in Business Award. I think that things like that really motivate me to like, you know, be a finer woman. We don't put on any airs. It's just who we are. It's just, it's just, it's just class personified. And it, it ain't nothing we're trying to do. It's just black women being beautiful black women. All shades, all shapes, all tones, just us doing us being awesome. To me, that's what finer womanhood is. Taking what you have and just classing it up and being the best version of yourself and rocking out. That's finer womanhood to me. Soros will pull you up and say, maybe not like this you know, in the greatest way possible. And I think that exemplifies final womanhood. Some of the influential members of Zeta Phi Beta would be like Zora Neale Hurston, um, singer, oh my God. Do you know the way to say? Dionne Warwick. Sora King, she created this like divine nine line in which she celebrates, you know, sororities by having these amazing rap dresses. And of course, uh, Cheryl Underwood, for all of the work that she's done as a comedian, you kind of watch her rise and go into this beautiful talk show host, like, what? See her evolve like that, that's definitely uh, inspiration, so. The moments that make this divine journey worthwhile for me, you're in a battle every time you perform. But the joy of it is at the end when people are lifting their hands and they've been uplifted by the good news in music. Oh man, oh, you talk about dividends over and over and people telling you, I came in down and listening to your song, I, I feel like I can make it. Man, that's it. There's, there's no greater joy. That and, and, and a check, of course. What I've learned on my journey, on this divine journey, is that things are going to be a mess. There's no way to mitigate the mess. So what you have to do is figure out what is the message? What way can you use it to empower you, drive you, change the outcome of what it could have become? And that is how I have made my mess beautiful.